So these little sacs, what are they? Well, finally we come to the end of the pathway for oxygen molecules in the lungs, the alveoli. Highlighted in green are many alveoli, which is plural for alveolus. And an alveolus, which comes from the Latin meaning little cavity, is the basic structural unit facilitating gas exchange in the lungs. This is why the alveoli are surrounded by a rich network of blood vessels, but we'll get to that a little later. Many alveoli open up internally to a space called the alveolus sac, and this is the space we can now see highlighted in green. The alveoli and alveolus sacs mark the end of the respiratory tract. Remember, the average adult human lung contains over 400 million alveoli. I mean, that's a lot of gaseous exchange going on, wouldn't you say? The final structure related to the bronchial tree are the pores of cone, also known as interalveolar connections, which we can now see highlighted in green. These are openings situated between adjacent alveoli that allow for air movement between the adjoining alveoli. In other words, the pores of cone allow for direct communication between adjacent alveoli to occur. There are a few different cell types that make up the walls of the alveoli. Remember that the alveoli is where gaseous exchange occurs, so the cells that make up the alveolar walls are there to facilitate that process. What we can see highlighted in this image now is a pneumocyte. There are two types of pneumocytes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 pneumocytes are the ones we can see highlighted now. These cells form about 90% of the surface area lining the alveoli, but numbers-wise, account for about 40% of the cells. Type 1 pneumocytes are very thin. Being so thin is super for gas exchange. The type 2 pneumocytes account for the other 60% of the cells, but make up only about 10% of the surface area. These pneumocytes have a round shape and possess a cytoplasm rich in mitochondria, as well as both the rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Which brings me to the next characteristic of type 2 pneumocytes. Type 2 cells secrete a substance called surfactant. Surfactant lines the alveolar walls to lower the surface tension. This prevents the alveoli from collapsing during expiration and helps the walls to expand during inspiration. The third cell type found in alveoli are the alveolar macrophages. These macrophages are the same as other macrophages, just located in the alveoli. They patrol the area, looking for any invasive bacteria, toxic particles, or other foreign bodies to phagocytose and get rid of. Alveolar macrophages are an important line of defense in preventing infection of the lungs. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.